Hey guys, Josh here, and as you may know, farming simulation games are my all-time favorites. I got introduced to the genre by Harvest Moon 64 in 1999, and since then I've been completely hooked to working on virtual farms. And while harvesting crops, taking care of livestock, and developing a farm might sound like a chore to some people, for me these games always deliver such a relaxing and addictive experience. And I know I'm certainly not the only one as it seems like the genre has been growing tremendously in popularity recently to the point where it's really becoming difficult to even keep track of what's coming up next. So to make things a bit easier, I've compiled in this video a list of 10 farming simulation games that are coming within the next year or so on the Nintendo Switch. And actually I've had some help from my friend Miss Bubbles who also has a gaming channel here on YouTube and I will let her introduce the first game on this list. Hello everyone, I am Miss Bubbles and it means the absolute world to me to be able to be part of this amazing collab. I create weekly content for the Nintendo Switch and other consoles that include reviews, eShop sales, before you buys, and much more. Make sure to check out my channel and become part of the Bubbly Squad. If you like a farming sim that brings a twist to the genre, then Monster Harvest should be on your radar. The title adds an interesting mix of mutating crops, collecting monsters, and exploring a vibrant world called Planimal Point. You can set on an adventure through three unique seasons, wet, dry, and dark, which bring strange weather effects that can impact what you can grow as well as what strange mutations can come to dominate the world. I have been slowly falling in love with pixelated simulation games, especially after playing games such as Littlewood and Stardew Valley, so to see this game added to the genre with an interesting take on different features is a delight. I can feel that this one will deliver, so let's wait till July and see what the developers have to bring to the table. Run Factory 5 is the latest entry to one of my favorite series by Marvelous, the developers behind Story of Seasons. It combines all of the traditional farming sim essentials, such as growing crops, participating in the town's festivals and getting married, with RPG elements such as combating monsters, exploring dungeons, a skill and leveling system, along with a heavier focus on the story and dialogues. This new entry looks so beautiful on the Nintendo Switch, the combat looks very satisfying and fast-paced, and I cannot wait to try out all of the new mechanics and improvements this game will bring to the series. Rune Factory 4 came out in 2012 and for many years we thought the series was over and that Rune Factory 5 would never see the light of day, but it's finally coming out this year and while there's no exact date for the western release yet, we know that the Japanese version is coming out on May 20th, which is very, very soon, and I cannot wait to get my hands on the game, spend hundreds of hours on it, and of course I'll try to cover it as much as I can on this channel. Garden Paws is created by Bit and Toast Games and it has been fully released on the PC and that is where I experienced it and fell in love with it. You get to be a pet in this game, such as a bear, a cat, a dragon and so much more and you set off on a journey to build your own farm while managing a shop at the same time. Your farm is located in an area that has different islands and as you explore the world around you, you meet new characters that can offer you new gadgets. For example, you can help open a bakery, a florist shop, or even obtain a paraglider. In addition, the environment is beautiful and vibrant and the music is relaxing and joyful. But not only that, but there's also an emphasis on fishing, cooking, crafting, farming, taking care of your barn animals, and so much more. More. The game offers so much content that you will always find yourself finding something every single day. I have contacted the developers about the news for where the switchboard is at right now and they informed me that they are slowly working on optimization. Sadly, they don't have a release date yet but I can feel it in my heart that it's coming anytime soon. <laughs> Kitaria Fables is another game that I'm very excited for. Similarly to Rune Factory, this one combines elements of farming sim and RPG, but on top of that you get to be a super adorable cat. The world looks so charming, vibrant and colorful, and I cannot wait to start exploring it. 
In this game, you get to participate in many tasks such as farming, accomplishing quests for your cute animal neighbors, and fighting against the rising darkness. You'll be able to craft potions, create and customize various types of weapons and armors that fit your playstyle, and it seems like there's also a lot of focus on creating your own spells and magic. The fast-paced real-time combat looks like a lot of fun, and the best part is that Kitaria Fables will support multiplayer so you can bring a friend on your quest. If you like RPGs and you're looking for a game that offers a bit more than farming, I think you should definitely keep an eye out for Kitaria Fables, which is scheduled to release sometime in 2021. In Farm Folks, you wash ashore on Soft Chol Island and get the chance to start a new life. In this game, again, you get to experience a mix between RPG and farming mechanics to get a new mix for the genre. First, you can grow up to 60 different crops through four different seasons. Second, pets and livestock are given a massive emphasis in this game and are considered an essential part of your farming life. Third, the local fisherman of the island, will teach you how to become an expert in fishing. Fourth, you get to build relationships with members of the local community who have character-rich stories to share with you. The citizens give you quests to complete that grant you rewards as well. Oh, and by the way, you get customization elements so you can create whatever persona you wish to have. And finally, you get to explore a selection of shores, groves, and dangerous caves. Welcome to the world of Ova Magica. In a place where blobs and humans live side by side. Like most games on this list, Ova Magica of course takes inspiration from Stardew Valley and Star of Seasons, but also Slime Rancher, Pokemon and others. Of course, there's the farming aspect where you have to grow crops, there's also berry bushes, fruit trees, weird herbs and mushrooms from other dimensions, and then you'll be able to use these to cook food, with which you'll be able to feed your blobs. So instead of regular animals, Ova Magica lets you tame and take care of blobs, which are cute creatures that hatch from an egg and they come in various species, colors and shapes. There are three types of blobs, forest, storm and magma, and you'll have to take the type into consideration to increase your chance of winning in the strategic active time battle system. Your blobs can also help you by watering your crops or produce different items, and you can even crossbreed your blobs to strengthen their genetics and get your ideal blob. There's just so much to say about this game that we can't possibly include in this video, but I can't wait to try this one out. At the moment, it's scheduled to be released sometime in 2022, but you can already pre-order it and get some extra bonus goodies. Sunnyside is a farming JRPG with modern gameplay and deep social sim aspect. You get to create your character and start a new life in Sunnyside. The fun thing is that the developers promise to have almost everything in the world to be interactable, so you can craft, build, and plan to your heart's content. The developers are also bringing fun machinery into the game such as bean roasters, grain mills, wine barrels, beer makers, and so much more. Of course, there is an an important aspect for upgrading your house, equipment, and barns. There are also wild animals that you can find wandering around the map, kind of like Story of Seasons, so you get to see squirrels, rabbits, wolves, bears, and others. There is also a deep social sim aspect in this game, so there are various bachelors and bachelorettes for you to interact with and choose who you want to be as the love of your life. What else is there? There is also an in-game phone that you can use for an e-market, messenger, camera, and other apps. This game has so much potential and the developers are promising so much, so I really cannot wait to see what the final product is going to be like. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a grape? Well, in Garden Story, you are literally a small and cute grape named Concord, and as you go through your journey, you will also be joined by other fruity friends to make sure that the grove, your home, becomes a better place. So you'll traverse a vibrant island to combat Rot, the evil of this game, and inspire citizens to bring back joy and happiness to the land. You'll get to experience four different regions with unique features, complete favors for citizens, take on various quests, 
solve puzzles, gather resources, upgrade tools, and rebuild structures. The game seems to be leaning a bit more towards adventure than farming, but you can also grow some gardens, do some fishing, and the atmosphere just looks so cozy and relaxing. I love the color palette and art style of Garden Story, and it's scheduled for release sometime in 2021. Ever After Falls joins elements of Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon, Animal Crossing, and adds a twist action RPG within dungeons. The game can be enjoyed both in solo mode or co-op. This is an excellent feature for newcomers who would like to receive some help from their friends or for experts who want to bring their friends into the genre. In this title, you wake up and discover that the life you previously had on Earth was just a simulation. So with no memory of where you are or how how you got there, you set on a journey to explore and rediscover the serene and peaceful existence you once had. The game gives a lot of RimWorld vibes and it is just so cool that such a graphical style is making it to the Switch. Ever After Falls encourages you to farm, fish, craft and fight in a fun and exciting adventure. You can also bring along a pet with you as you progress through the story. Rilla, tell us a story again, <laughs> please. We are the children of Pacha. For years, we roamed her lands looking... Developed by Soda Den, Roots of Pacha is a farming and life simulation that takes place in the Stone Age. This time period just by itself makes the game stand out, but another great selling point for Roots of Pacha is that it is being developed with cooperative multiplayer in mind. So whether you're playing by yourself or with friends, your goal will be to develop a village and build relationships within your clan, to evolve by learning new ideas such as how to tame and ride wild animals, how to process and preserve food, invent new tools and buildings, and just so much more. I think this twist with the time period is so interesting and I can't wait to see all of the new mechanics this game is going to bring to the farming simulation genre. I'm also really enjoying this type of pixel art and how colorful the game looks. I've actually had the chance to try the alpha version of this game on PC and so far I have to say I'm very pleased with my experience and I'm definitely looking forward to the full release on Switch, PC and other consoles sometime in 2022. Good morning passengers, we're a few minutes away from our destination. The company would like to welcome you to a remote... Bear and Breakfast is a management adventure game where you are literally a bear trying to run a bed and breakfast business. As you join your friends to build a successful business, you get to take part in so many activities. You can personalize your little motel, shall we say, in whichever way you want, which lets you add your own personality into the game. You also need to make sure that each room is unique and taken care of so you keep the guests happy. You also get to complete quest lines which reward you with new perks to make the end much better every time. The game provides a rich story so you need to progress through it as you stumble upon weird, quirky, and mysterious animals. Not only that, but you can also go into the deep woods to uncover mysterious secrets. Yes, this title is not your typical farming game but it is so charming and has fun life sim aspects that I just had to bring it up for you. Developed by indie developer Stairway Games from Indonesia, Coral Island will transport you to a beautiful tropical island where you'll be able to grow exotic crops such as durian and dragon fruit and raise unique animals such as peoples, luwaks and so many more. Coral Island also takes an environmentally friendly approach and you'll be able to dive into the ocean in order to clean and save the coral. By doing so you will attract rare types of fish and the seaweed you collect will serve to increase the quality of your crops and livestock. The game will also feature a diverse selection of 16 marriage candidates and if you do decide to have children, you will be able to see them grow. The developers have reached all of their goals on their Kickstarter campaign and they are promising us a ton of very exciting features such as multiplayer, mod support, a whole merfolk kingdom to explore in addition to island hopping and also console versions that should come out sometime after the PC release which is scheduled for 2022. If you're interested in playing the alpha version of Coral Island which is set to start in July of this year, you can still pre-order it on Backer Kit. Actually, links for all of the games listed in today's video are available in the video description so make sure to check them out. 
All right, guys, so these are just a few of the farming simulation games I'm looking forward to within the next year. I hope you were able to discover some new games. Please let me know which ones you're the most excited about or if there's any game you think should have been included on this list. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And don't forget to take a look at Miss Bubbles' channels as she has other videos similar to this one that I think you might be interested in. Alright, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.